सो वट्स कुकिंग गुड लुकिंग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद द टॉपिक बैलेंसिंग करियर पैरेंट हुड एंड फर्टिलिटी प्लानिंग वी जस्ट वेट आवर होस्ट टू गेट कनेक्टेड सो टूडे वी हैव द होस्ट डॉक्टर स्नेहल ढोबले एंड शी इज द ओनर ऑफ द ओवा फर्टिलिटी केयर एंड वुमन केयर विल जस्ट वेट टू जॉइन हर getting joined yes doctor is here hello hello welcome doctor to our show hello hello doctor sagar good evening everyone good evening good evening so so uh what you actually do in your the ova fertility care and women care uh, women care center yeah uh basically uh, i am fertility specialist so uh, here we have a specialized unit uh, which is dealing with uh, all the aspects of women care uh, so we have a different department like fertility unit onco fertility unit gynecology maternity endoscopy cosmetology and mainly uh, i deal with uh, fertility issues that mean uh, to uh, uh, the issues of the couples who are unable to conceive and here uh, we deal with uh, from their basic to advanced treatments and we have state of art uh, ivf laboratory andrology laboratory all the technologies like uh, icsi laser and uh, also we have all uh, these are in the modular uh, lab setup and we have the cryo preservation unit for egg freezing sperm freezing embryo freezing etc exactly that's what today's topic is about so yes we many time we heard that this model or actress conceive uh, with this uh, freezing egg technique so mm. uh, what the what is the concept behind it yeah nowadays uh, we heard lot many uh, stories about this we have read that um, some examples we know like mona singh she has frozen mm-hmm. her eggs uh, mm-hmm. even the ekta kapoor and dina hayden both of them have frozen their eggs in early 30s and now you know they have had the uh, babies uh, after few years uh, so yes um, it is the concept behind is that basically uh, what happens is Uh, nowadays because of the uh, changing environments because of changes in the diets and lifestyle uh, the rate of fertility has declined and at the same time which is a uh, important thing to mention as we are in the era of women empowerment where um, women are equally uh, doing good uh, in all the fields and where they are pursuing their education their career and that's why uh, the age at which they plan their parenthood motherhood is like uh, uh, you know it has increased from say initially it used to be 22 23 now it has been you know 33 34 35 probably or maybe after that and uh, the concept is uh, the nature is not going to wait for us definitely as we see that there are impacts of aging on all the organs this mm-hmm. impact is quite earlier seen on the eggs on the sperms also but very importantly on the eggs because these eggs are uh, like limited in number okay day by day they are going utilized but uh, the new numbers are not been added so that the stores are going down it is like a biological clock is constantly ticking and so definitely in such a cases whenever they will plan their parenthood in their maybe late 30s or early 40s by that time they would have to face a lot of struggle because uh, yeah the eggs are I and mean, they will face the infertility issues so in that okay. case what we can do is like when these eggs are in the uh, right number and right quality we take them out of the body and we freeze we retrieve 
and freeze it and then we utilize after some years okay as you said the number goes on decreasing as the age okay. advances also yes. there uh, happens there are n number of other factors also so yes. that's why this kind of uh, issues are there which lead to the infertility right correct correct those who want to have a baby after that life i mean to, after that age so there uh, is a hope with this kind of technique sure there is a really good hope and uh, the technologies are such that available uh, you know we can uh, deal with these issues and we can freeze the eggs or even the sperms or even embryos at earlier exactly. age and use exactly. it later yes yes so how it exactly works Mm hmm. Okay. Uh. So here, uh, what it is done is, um, we can give certain medications by which these eggs are matured in the body for few days. Okay. And uh, then we retrieve that with a simple minor procedure. Believe me, these are very much uh, reachable procedures. They are quick and painless. it is not very you know sometimes we uh, feel that it is too much into it but actually it is very simpler but then it requires a very uh, good technology very good team of the embryologists and the clinicians so mm -hmm. after the maturation of these eggs in few days in the body we retrieve them and then we store them in the lab yes so it's like a banking it's like a yes, locker yes. over locker yeah. sperm, uh, sperm banking we can say so yes, whether yes. so does it require maintenance cost or uh, i mean so how the cost if cost effective it is yeah yes it is very much affordable and as you really said it is like banking we are saving you know it's like our own uh, eggs and sperms and embryos we are sa saving them at right time uh, for the future use and really as you mentioned they are uh, they are stored in the uh, containers of uh, you have heard of liquid nitrogen very much at Achha. the minus yeah they are like a frozen frozen so minus 196 degree centigrade and i don't want to go in a technical details of course mm -hmm. but uh, as you really mentioned these are the separate compartments like a lockers and everyone is you know designated a different different uh, space and definitely uh, even after few years we can retrieve them well okay Achha. and as you mentioned yes it is very much affordable uh, and maybe probably yes cost will vary depending upon different uh, parameters but mm -hmm. probably within lakh it is possible and uh, very much uh, less maintenance is required yearly acha so uh, how many patients nowadays you come across for getting this kind of treatment see uh, corporate life or uh, mm. career life for the female is very important because of the parenthood the, there is there happens a break in that career so correct, correct. Uh, so what is the means what is the future for this uh, kind of mm. technique yeah yes that is really true i mean uh, some point of time uh, especially females they might feel that dilemma like what to choose mm -hmm. i mean whether to choose a career whether to choose a parenthood and do i have to sacrifice one for other ideally they, sh okay. they shouldn't be you know sacrificing both because uh, everyone has a right to pursue their dreams at the same time everyone has a right to procreate so yeah. definitely yeah so and it is effective also yes of course and very much we can balance this you know and uh, it is a very good future for this nowadays majority of the people are aware about it they ask about it and as you mentioned rightly especially in the corporate culture there are certain you know companies like uh, mm -hmm. apple facebook uh, they have uh, given uh basically um they have for a facility for their female employees they are providing the insurance for these kind of you know treatments okay. that is a very good thing very good initiative yeah okay so mm -hmm. how this eggs are fertilized with the outside the body and then put inside the body in uh, uh, so how it grew yes uh, as i mentioned that uh, these eggs 
uh, we give certain medications for maturation uh, and then they are partly uh, matured inside the body and when they are ready we retrieve then we freeze and say uh, it can be frozen for 5 uh, years 10 years for long term and believe me uh, duration of freezing will not affect the quality of the eggs or quality of the sperm or even the embryos and nowadays with the very good technologies uh, it is like retrieval rate of these is almost 90% which is very good and uh, uh, what we do is uh, whenever they wish to use this we thaw them means we take them out to the room temperature and then we take the partner sperm and then actually yes this is the fertilization outside the body okay so that's why it is called as in vitro fertilization uh but it is done with very much you know uh what you can say controlled environment literally Achoo. the environment which is inside our body with respect to the temperature air quality and mm -hmm. uh, all the uh, quantities of the different uh, like say co2s and o2s and nitrogen everything is maintained by in the lab basically by certain modern technologies acha so as you mentioned the success rate is almost 90% it's a really high success rate and yeah. do, does the, the baby encounter with the, any kind of abnormalities or genetic problem yeah so as you mentioned yeah this success rate of 90% is an, at the thawing that means retrieval so retrieval is very good and mm -hmm. then when we go for the ivf after that it is a good success rate based on the patient's parameter and yes gotcha. it is uh, it is not associated with any abnormalities in the baby just because these babies have been uh, delivered say after ivf or after frozen egg or frozen sperm or frozen embryos uh, and there have been very much uh, uh, there have been many live births after this so it has been proven scientifically okay okay mm -hmm. so see when uh, this kind of topic appears there is a, always a social stigma behind it yes, so yes. one has to continue their legacy with their own child or have to opt out for the adoption so mm -hmm. uh, means uh, there is a lots of issues and, and lots of opinions which uh, i am not here to uh, say which is right which is wrong uh, there there mm -hmm. there and these are their own perception but what you can say what uh, have you come across such kind of stigma stigma yeah uh, now as you have mentioned this topic uh, we, we will go little side track on this because definitely as we know nowadays awareness is increasing and mm -hmm. people are doing these things at right age and actually we are preventing further complications of infertility but and yes uh there are certain people basically uh, who may have uh, certain problems uh, mm -hmm. with respect to the egg number egg quality or sometimes even the sperm number and sperm quality mm -hmm. and uh, there is something called you know they don't have other options medications don't work even the base, uh, these advanced technologies sometimes don't work of course because mm -hmm. even if science is so much ahead we know that nature is one step ahead always so exactly. in that case yes so in that case sometimes uh, we might we might have to use uh, something called you know donor eggs or uh, donor sperm or donor mm -hmm. embryos maybe so we have noticed basically a uh, social stigma uh, in these situations so generally acceptance in that uh, sir, that scenario is not i mean those kind of scenarios is little uh less but as i would like to mention just uh, as we are discussing this topic see basically it's just a, a medical problem we are dealing with mm -hmm. and uh, actually it's like a an analogy where as we know that if there are certain problems to the kidneys or livers by medications it cannot be generated or it cannot be generated. at the same time it is okay so uh, dr sneha there is some network issues uh, and going on 
so uh, till she comes back so as far as we have discussed up till now so yes there are social stigmas going around this topic but there is a hope for conceiving own child and there is a hope to balance the career and the balance the parenthood uh, just wait she will join again we'll try to get her back okay uh let's see who has joined and who has commented uh, any questions okay megna walke is she is saying very nice thank you megna i doctor is giving us a very good kind of information then okay who else has joined ya wo say which i am not able to pronounce that okay but thanks for joining then shankar dopre he is saying very nice thank you shankar okay from me rameshwar then juhi birwadkar okay okay then dj ganesh shwetambari okay thank you for joining just wait uh, just wait for doctor to join there happened a technical issue let's see okay i think she is here okay okay so she is back and oh. yeah she is yeah Okay, fine. So sorry. So I think there was. Right, right. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. So, yeah. uh, keeping aside the social stigma, I was just uh, telling the people that uh, there is a hope to conceive with the own one's own child, and if uh, everything yes, fails, of then of course there is a option for the adoption. Not a not a uh, not yes. a bad option for that. And exactly. Uh, exactly. And who wants to balance the career? and uh, parenthood then this over freezing option is the great option which is very cost yes. effective option so uh, what to be will the advances future advances in the same procedure yeah so really you really mentioned that well and uh, so uh, yeah future advances are coming up like you know uh, doing embryo biopsies uh, checking mm-hmm. the, if there are certain genetic issues uh, someone is dealing with and then we can mm-hmm. check those genetic problems in the embryos beforehand rather than having some abnormalities in the child later we can mm-hmm. test the embryos and then after testing we can put back uh, the embryos in the womb that is something called pgd embryo biopsy and here i would just like to mention one more uh, advancement upcoming field in this is something called onco fertility where uh, we 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 see uh, many young people unfortunately uh, suffering with cancers now these cancers in young age basically are curable that is that struggle of 5 to 6 years in their life and as we know cure of the cancer is by chemotherapy radiotherapy now these medications they have a effect that they will cure the cancer but at the same time as a side effect their fertility potential both in males and females will totally go down and then at the time after say 8 10 years when they are about to start their family unfortunately mm-hmm. they cannot i mean this part remains vacant so in such situations now we do something called you know egg freezing and sperm freezing in them before they start chemotherapy and radiotherapy this is the combined team of the oncology and fertility working together for these patients we do it basically in the emergency basis without delaying their cancer treatments because that is also very important and really they are you know they can enjoy their parenthood once they are cured uh, of the cancers and definitely improve their quality of life yeah it's a new hope to have a yes, for the such kind of patient see uh, actually mm-hmm. having a child it's a really um, what you can say it's a really blessing so see course, the yeah. innocence innocence have 
means you see the innocence growing in your house so that's a very uh, great thing so tell me something about ovum donation mm mm-hmm. yeah i mean uh, you can choose of maybe as if you have frozen your eggs or you know after mm-hmm. once you have utilized once the family is complete then there are options you can choose what you can do with that hmm. so definitely you can choose of donating you can also tell maybe discard or maybe use for research purpose but i would suggest definitely as nowadays we talk about so much of organ donation uh, so mm-hmm. like you know uh all the organs for that matter uh, we we do so much drive but uh, we should have the awareness about here also so definitely we can choose this option and it will be very much useful for actually needy people definitely uh, so we uh, heard this concept uh, or we have seen this concept in a wiki donor but that was for about the sperm but uh, this is for yes. the oh that is so for the egg this concept is, oh, concept is true so true, yeah. uh what message you want to give to the audience yeah so basically uh, i'm very happy basically to join with you after a- anyways on this social platform after so long <laughs> and uh, it's <laughs> good i'm very happy to see enthusiastic audience and yes definitely i would like uh, to you know uh, tell that nowadays we can you know make utilize of these modern technologies in a proper way at the right time and you will not have to sacrifice any of your dreams be it your education be it a career or be it a parenthood we can equally you know achieve a balance of our life of our career education and at the same time the parenthood but yes we have to maintain a healthy lifestyle of course and at the same time maybe at a proper time uh, check a, um, advice or take a help of experts at right time and uh, we should make awareness about all these new technologies we are always there to help you and definitely we can make use of these technologies in a right way okay so thank you doctor thank you for joining with us taking out time from your basic schedule yes. and uh, giving such a nice information about this up uh, uh, miss breeding topic like uh, ova yeah. breeding and their applications so yeah. uh, uh, what you can do you can put the your details but we are going to put your details in the comment section so that uh, whosoever want to meet you personally or want to get their queries sorted they can reach you so yeah. thank you for joining with us uh, you can sign yeah. off now Yes, yeah, thank you so much, Agar. And really, you are creating a great awareness. I'm really happy. And yes, I will be very much always ready to solve the queries of our audience. Thank you. <laughs> stay healthy, so stay nice. safe. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.